Could it be true that Planned Parenthood targets poor black women and offers them abortions as a form of racial genocide? That is the allegation a group of black pastors is making. They say it's the main reason many Planned Parenthood clinics are located in poor, predominantly black neighborhoods. Correspondent Molly Henneberg reports. At a prayer vigil and rally today, these African-American pastors and other pro-life supporters charged Planned Parenthood with, quote, blatant racism and said the group targets African-American women for abortions. They want Congress to stop their funding. Planned Parenthood, no more will you receive one dime uh, dipped in the blood of black children. But today we come to stop what Planned Parenthood is doing. We want to break it, bring an end to the genocide of African-American babies. Part of what prompted this protest are some phone calls, now on YouTube, by pro-life advocates to Planned Parenthood clinics around the country. The callers were testing the employees to see if they would accept money intended for specific race-based abortions. Here's an example of a call to an Ohio clinic. When I underwrite abortion, does that apply to minorities too? If you specifically want it to underwrite an abortion for a minority person, you can target it that way. You can, you can specify that that's how you want it spent. Okay, yeah, because there's, so de there's definitely way too many black people in Ohio, so I'm just trying to do my part. <laughs> okay, whatever. Planned Parenthood said today in a statement that 97% of its services focus on pregnancy and disease prevention, but otherwise did not comment on the phone calls or allegations. However, in a previous statement to an Idaho newspaper regarding a similar call, a spokesperson said, quote, a fundraising employee violated the organization's principles and practices when she appeared to be willing to accept a racially motivated donation. We apologize for the manner in which this offensive call was handled. Planned Parenthood received over 300 million taxpayer dollars from Congress last year. And today the pastors say they want that stopped. But members of Congress, such as Indiana Republican Mike Pence, who have tried to stop such funding previously, have not been successful. In Washington, Molly Henneberg, Fox News.